Hello everyone, this is Herb from World of Walt coming to you with a surprise live broadcast on Friday morning from Disney's Hollywood Studios. I have heard that One Man's Dream has transformed into Walt Disney Presents, so we're going to go and check it out. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll look at it together. I will not be doing a broadcast on Saturday because Hurricane Irma is going to be bearing down on Central Florida. So uh, this is my quick broadcast on a Friday to cover the week. Uh, word has it that the city will be telling people to stay off of the streets starting Saturday evening and then Sunday into Monday is when Central Florida is expected to really feel the brunt of Hurricane Irma. Uh, everything is still operating today at Walt Disney World. The second night of the Night of Joy Christian Music Concert has been canceled. Uh, the one tonight, Friday, is still on, and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for Saturday has been canceled as well. There have not been uh, any information about the parks closing, though. I would not surprise me if they do close Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but we will see. Thanks, everybody, for the messages. I appreciate your uh, prayers and your well wishes. A lot of people are going to be impacted by this hurricane, very strong winds. Uh, so it will be time to hunker down. Joey, thank you very much. Liz said, Hurricane, yeah, it's been uh, high on the minds of everyone here in Florida. And Hurricane Irma is probably going to come right up the center of the state, and uh, everybody's expecting some pretty significant impact. So I'm not sure if we'll lose water or power, but we're getting ready for that just in case. Thanks for being here. Jennifer is just coming in on Tuesday, I think. So hopefully the weather will have cleared up for the most part by then, but it's hard to know what sort of damage might have happened in the area. Uh, Disney has its own source of power and a huge workforce to help in getting things straightened back out. So hopefully you'll be okay, but it's hard to know what the surrounding area will be like then. Emily, thanks for your well wishes. Hey Keith, thanks for sharing the video. Now it's a little odd to be showing a video live on Friday morning, but thought we'd do it before Saturday comes along and may not uh, be able to get out or choose to get out. It is a beautiful Friday morning here. The skies are blue and clear. Uh, a little humid, a little warm, but a really nice day. I'm going to hang a right. We're going to head over to the spot that formerly held One Man's Dream. Now, I understand, holds... Walt Disney Presents, and I think some of the changes inside are uh, in place, so we'll see if we can check it out. I have a little bit of time, I may head to the back corner of the park where Galaxy's Edge is being uh, built, and the new Grand Avenue is taking shape. I think Disney has taken down a lot of the scrims so they don't get blown away by the hurricane. So you can kind of see, pass through some construction fences you wouldn't otherwise be able to, to check out. So again, thanks everybody for joining me. It's very bright here, so it's a little hard for me to see the comments, but I can see that people are commenting, so thanks for doing that. I'll be over in a little shady area so I can see some more of what people are saying. Okay, down the steps, we'll hang a left, and we will be at the newly imagined Walt Disney Presents. Hey Robin, thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate everybody who does that. Also appreciate your likes and your comments. Good encouragement to me, a good way to keep the conversation going. Monica asked if I'm going to leave um, due to the hurricane. I don't believe so. I have thought about it, but uh, I think about the fact that the, the people from Miami come to Orlando to, to escape the hurricane, so I'm not sure I need to leave Orlando. Um, I think everybody's really going to be impacted, but I think the biggest danger inland is going to be from the winds. And if you stay inside, uh, hopefully all will be well. 
Kathy asks, is there going to be a direct hit? Yeah, it looks like the hurricane is going to go straight up the center of the state. It's a very wide hurricane, so everybody's probably going to be impacted. Okay, Walt Disney presents. Nice sign. Let's go in and take a look. Good morning. Okay, so this artwork looks familiar of Walt Disney himself and all of the planning he put into the Florida project. Peggy says she's going in two weeks, think he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay too. Kind of all depends on what sort of damage is, uh, happened to the infrastructure, uh, water and power, but that's a good long time. Karen, good morning to you. Donna's going to be here in a couple weeks. Hope you have a good trip. Okay, so far a lot of what we're seeing at uh, Walt Disney Presents looks a whole lot like one man's dream. Here's the model of Marceline, Missouri, which eventually became the idea for Main Street USA. Natalia, thank you very much for your prayers. We really appreciate that. Kathy's coming in December. I hope you have a good trip. Okay, looks like a lot of what we're seeing here is what we had when it was one man's dream. Cover it together. Mickey's pal. Peter says, is it true they're taking down parts of the castle? Uh, no, I believe that the castle is uh, built to withstand hurricane force winds. And so I know a lot of people this have heard that rumor that they can take pieces of Cinderella Castle down. But it stays together in one piece. Maybe they'll take uh, a few flags off the top, but otherwise it'll be there. Roberta, thank you for your prayers, too. Uh, very nice model of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Really well done, pretty. Uh, some of these models in this section, I think, may be new. There's a model of Adventureland and the Jungle Cruise. Shani, thanks for sharing the video. Uh, this model, I think, is new to this area, the model of Paradise Pier. It's fun to see these designs. Uh, here's a photograph of the uh, Tower of Terror from California that has been reimagined with Guardians of the Galaxy. Understand that's not going to happen here in Florida, which is a okay by me. Rick, good morning to you. Decided not to come. I think that was probably a good idea. Things are very likely going to be closed down for Sunday and Monday. Motion picture tribute on the life of Walt Disney. We're located at the end of the exhibit on the right if you'd like to join us. Thank you. The model of Cinderella Castle. A lot of fun to see these things. Yeah, this area has a lot of new models now. Kind of fun to see. Model of the Tower of Terror. Okay, hi everyone. Looks like the uh, internet connection didn't hold up very well. So, towards the back end of Walt Disney Presents, formerly One Man's Dream, there are some spots where I think the models of Star Wars and Toy Story Land are going to be coming, but the internet connection just wasn't holding up. So, decided to exit and I'm going to walk down through 
Pixar Place. We'll take a look at the new Grand Avenue section before we wrap it up for today. Hi, Amanda from Delaware. Thank you for being here. Big Onion Club shared the video. Thank you for doing that. Lisa, thank you for your well wishes. Appreciate that. Phil Gremlick is in the house. Hi, Phil. Hope you're doing well in helping uh, people reschedule their vacations due to the upcoming hurricane. So again, everyone, live on Friday morning, kind of an unusual time. Normally I'm here on Saturday, but by the time Saturday comes along, I think the weather is not going to be nearly as nice due to Hurricane Irma. I'm going to start to huddle up in, inside. Hi, Tim Peterson. <laughs> Tower of Terror looks like it could withstand a hurricane. Maybe it's already withstood a few. Parks don't seem so crowded today, and wasn't so crowded yesterday when I went over to Animal Kingdom. Uh, I actually had a chance to go on the Navi River journey later in the evening. It was a 15-minute wait. That's something you don't see very often. I think a lot of people have wisely chosen to either not come or headed home early. Andy, thank you for your well wishes. James, could I uh, rig a Wi-Fi booster? Uh, that's an interesting thought. I really didn't even know there was such a thing, but it would be great if I had a way to be able to have a stronger connection. Sometimes the technology just doesn't cooperate very well. All right, um, at the end of Pixar Place here, you can see some of the steel work that is going up to build out the new Galaxy's Edge Star Wars land. Actually, this used to be a dead end. We'll see if it still is, and if so, I uh, will turn around and we'll... Okay, it is still a dead end, but it does have a very cool mural of what's coming in Star Wars. Diane asked if I have all the supplies. Yeah, I, I do. I've got plenty of drinking water, food to last for quite a while. Um, the stores have been very busy. It's uh, strange to see some of the shelves empty, especially those for water or uh, canned goods with the people who have been working in the stores have been doing an amazing job of keeping things stocked. Uh, around here, some of the gas stations have been running out of gas uh, on and off again. So a lot of people are getting prepared, which is good, because they want people to be prepared now. Linda says, loved traveling with Disney or around Disney with me. Thank you very much for doing that. Okay, we're going to head up here. We can make a little bit of a U-turn and see if we can peek through the construction fences for the new Grand Avenue, which will act as something of a crowd control entranceway into Galaxy's Edge when that opens um, down the road. Jennifer from Fort Myers is hunkering, da hunkering down. Yeah, I think a lot of people in Florida are doing that. I know there are some mandatory evacuations for people who live uh, very close to the beach in Miami. Um, I know a lot of people are choosing to leave, but I think the majority of people are probably choosing to stay because it's hard to evacuate an entire state of people. You can see a lot of construction work here for what I believe will be one of the entrances to Toy Story Land. There used to be buildings that uh, blocked this way, but looks like it's probably going to be a new opening there now. Fun to see. Hey, Allie Miller, how are you? Oh, the 
now he's going to brave the storm. Well, I hope that everything uh, works out okay. My guess is that Sunday and Monday are going to be washed out. But you know, before and after, you may have kind of empty parks to explore. So thanks for being here on my unusually scheduled Facebook Live. Voyage of the Little Mermaid up here to the left. It's been there for a long, long time. Okay, we're going to walk up here. We're going to go past uh, Star Tours and see if we can peek through the construction fences at the new uh, Grand Avenue section that is being built. There's something of a crowd control placeholder for all the people who are going to be coming into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. On our right here, a great movie ride is no more. But I'm very excited to see what's going to come with a runaway railway. And in fact, Disney has put up some coming soon signs. Maybe not soon, but coming. <laughs> runaway railway. So I have all the handprints and footprints here in front of the Chinese theater. Uh, it's fun to wander around and have a little bit of a flashback to the 90s. So straight up ahead is Echo Lake, the Hyperion Theater, where you can check out the Frozen sing-along, which is a lot of fun. See if we can cut through here past the ABC commissary. Yeah. Can you give her cup with water to her, please? Hi, Judy from New Hampshire. Thanks for being here on the broadcast. Taking a little stroll through Disney's Hollywood Studios on a Friday morning. No broadcast on Saturday, given some of the weather conditions with Irma. So glad I could. Uh, share a little bit of Disney fun on Friday. Thank you for being here with me. Linda said the weather looks beautiful. It's hard to imagine. And I agree. Today is a perfect Florida day. A little, little warm, a little sticky, but that's what we get here. But it is nice with clear blue skies. They're not going to last. Teresa is going to be at Walt Disney World in December. I hope you have a great trip. Hey, look who's walking this way. Crystal from Council Grove, Kansas. Thanks for being here. Tina says thanks for a little Disney break today. Thanks for joining here. Normally I do broadcasts on Saturdays, and if you like the broadcast, uh, there's probably a little menu in the top right corner of your Facebook screen where you can say turn on notifications. And when you do that, Facebook will notify you when I go live, which usually happens on Saturday mornings, but given the hurricane, I decided to do a little Friday morning broadcast. So normally you don't see into this area. There are scrims up on these construction walls where Disney is putting together the Grand Avenue which will hold a uh, baseline tap house and will probably act as a way to control the crowds trying to get into uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So it's kind of fun to see the construction. You can definitely notice that Disney is not yet done. Some windows are boarded up. The sidewalks are not paved. Some of the landscaping is in, but not all of it. So this looks like this is going to be a nice little area, sort of transition before you get into Galaxy's Edge. John says, thanks for a little shot of Disney, glad to do it. Laura from Clarksville, Tennessee, says loves the videos, thanks for being here. We'll walk around just a little bit. We can take a good look at the new sign that is up for Muppet Vision 3D. Uh, interesting that the theater from Muppet Vision 3D has been renamed the Grand Arts Theater. Uh, and the marquee looks like the Muppet Vision name 
is kind of with removable letters and there are banners hanging up so there have been no announcements about any changes to Muppet Vision 3D but it sure does look like they have designed the facade of that building so that it would be easy to change it out if they wanted to. You can see some of the construction walls uh, that will separate Galaxy's Edge. It's going to be a really interesting area here in the, the next few years. A lot has been shut down here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, but very exciting things to come. Okay, we're going to walk over to what was the Muppet Courtyard for just a few minutes before we wrap it up for today. Appreciate your being here with me. Again, if you like the videos, uh, top right corner is probably a little drop down menu where you can turn on notifications. Also, if you don't happen to catch me live, you can always watch the replay of the live video, which automatically goes onto the Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash world of all. Miss Piggy's fountain is a shell of what it used to be. I hope that it will be restored to all its glory someday soon as the construction wraps up. Okay, the new home, or the old home of Muppet Vision 3D, now the Grand Arts Theater with a uh, new marquee. And I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So everybody, thanks for being here with me on Facebook Live on a Friday morning broadcast. Wanted to get one in before Hurricane Irma comes through. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, it looks like starting Saturday evening, the city will tell people to stay off the streets in anticipation for the storm coming through on Sunday and Monday. So if you're a praying person, I would appreciate your prayers for safety for all the people in Florida. The storm is going to be a pretty intense one. So I appreciate, again, your, your being here. I hope everyone has a great weekend. If you're in Florida, please stay safe. Um, finish up your final preparations. And have a great week. Uh, the rest of the week, Friday, and a great weekend. And until next time, everyone, thanks very much. God bless.